For years, astronomers have suspected that deep space conceals a profound secret about the very fabric of reality, that the universe's infancy was not a barren void, but a cauldron of impossible complexity, where stars ignited furiously and structures emerged with an order that defies chaos. But suspicions linger in the shadows of theory. Evidence demands light, and now the James Webb Space Telescope has pierced that veil, unveiling galaxies so primordial, so improbably mature, and so intricately woven into the cosmos that they shatter our foundational narratives of creation. This transcends a mere snapshot of distant light. It embodies a cosmic upheaval, proof that the universe's dawn was a symphony of rapid evolution, hidden symmetries, and perhaps even deliberate design, far exceeding our timid predictions. As Webb's gaze delves ever deeper into the abyss, one inescapable truth emerges, the whispers we've harbored about the depths of space, their enigmatic vitality and underlying purpose, have been vindicated at last. Back in the era before Webb, the farthest reaches glimpsed by Hubble painted a picture of tentative beginnings, with galaxies like GNZ-11 standing as sentinels from 400 million years. Post-Big Bang, their light, a faint echo of sluggish formation. Yet Webb, with its colossal 6.5-meter mirror and infrared prowess, attuned to the red-shifted glow of antiquity, swiftly eclipsed those limits. In mere months, it pinpointed JDES GSZ 14-0, a beacon at redshift 14.32 illuminating an epoch just 290 million years after the universe's explosive birth. Then came revelations of even more elusive forms, like the enigmatic little red dots, tiny crimson specks scattered across Webb's fields, glowing with an intensity that belied their youth. On the surface, this was groundbreaking, but the true astonishment unfolded under scrutiny JD's GSZ-14-0 spanned a modest 1,600 light-years, yet it blazed with the luminosity of billions of suns, a stellar forge operating at a pace our simulations deemed unattainable so soon after the cosmos cooled. Conventional wisdom held that such nascent galaxies would be dim, fragmented assemblages of pristine gas laboring to birth their first stars amid lingering darkness. Jade's GSZ-14-0 defied this entirely. Webb's spectroscopic dissection uncovered an astonishing chemical tapestry, elevated levels of oxygen, carbon, and neon, elements forged in the nuclear hearts of stars and dispersed by cataclysmic supernovae. This isotopic signature evoked relics from our own galactic halo, implying cycles of stellar life and death had already churned through multiple iterations before this galaxy coalesced. This disclosure reshaped everything. It signified that cosmic maturation accelerated beyond comprehension, with heavy elements seeding the void in an era presumed dominated by elemental simplicity. To detect such enrichment demanded that the first supernovae had erupted eons earlier, compressing the timeline of universal alchemy into a blistering sprint. It was as though Webb had unearthed a concealed prologue to existence, where the raw plasma of the Big Bang swiftly organized into sophisticated forges, imprinting their legacy on a galaxy teetering at time's horizon. The enigmas compounded. In galaxies exhibiting such voracious star birth, a supermassive black hole typically reigns at the nucleus, orchestrating the chaos, devouring gas to fuel quasar brilliance while sculpting the surrounding architecture. Yet Jardaz GSZ-14-0 harbored no such behemoth. Webb's instruments scoured for telltale emissions, gravitational distortions, or accretion flares 
yielding silence. This stellar maelstrom thrummed without the gravitational anchor we deemed indispensable. It upends a cornerstone of astrophysics, the symbiotic dance between black holes and their galactic cradles, where each propels the other's ascent. If a galaxy this ancient can thrive unmoored from a central void, perhaps black holes emerge as consequences rather than catalysts of early growth. Or maybe Webb captured a ephemeral interlude, the pregnant pause preceding a black hole's violent inception. Prior to Webb, anomalies like JADESGSZ-14-0 were dismissed as rarities, flukes in an otherwise languid cosmic nursery, now they proliferate. Webb's surveys teem with these luminous outliers, each eroding uh, another pillar of doctrine. If compact realms could amass mass and metallicity so precipitously, the universe's inaugural eon must have pulsed with dynamism, our equations overlook. This mandates a overhaul, simulations recalibrated for explosive star formation, accelerated enrichment, and overlooked evolutionary epochs. And if JADAS GSZ-14-0 heralds a deluge, web poised to inundate us with affirmations of long-held hunches, that the primordial cosmos brimmed with sophistication we scarcely dared envision. As Webb's vistas broadened, Jade's GSZ-14-0 morphed from aberration to archetype. Scores of analogous relics surfaced, the little red dots numbering in hundreds, diminutive yet radiant, their spectra hinting at black hole activity or hyper-efficient star clusters in the universe's toddler phase. Some boasted masses rivaling the Milky Ways, defying the cold dark matter paradigm that forecasts gradual assembly. Others, like GSNDG 9422, bridge the chasm to population three stars. The mythical first luminaries, pure hydrogen helium, titans whose demise birthed the elements we know. This cascade wasn't anticipated. Standard cosmology envisioned a protracted dimness, gas clouds coalescing lethargically into isolated sparks. Webb's panorama depicts a fervent arena where complexity surged almost instantaneously, perhaps orchestrated by unseen scaffolds lingering from inflation's throes. The intuition astronomers nurtured that cosmic dawn ignited with unforeseen vigor now crystallizes in iridescent data points, etching the void. Compounding the mystery, web illuminated galaxies, instrumental in reionization, the epoch when ultraviolet fury banished the neutral fog shrouding the young universe. Dozens of petite powerhouses unearthed in deep fields pierced this haze far earlier than models permitted, their collective glow transforming opacity into transparency. These unsung architects, modest in scale but prodigious in output, suggest the Ryanization narrative was inverted, not dominated by colossal quasars, but by swarms of agile dwarfs. This recalibrates our chronology, implying the universe clarified its vision sooner, fostering conditions for subsequent grandeur. If these findings hold, the suspicions of a hyper-accelerated infancy gain unassailable traction, forcing us to confront a cosmos that bootstrapped itself with ruthless efficiency. The revelations extend beyond individual galaxies to the grand tapestry. A parallel inquiry, bolstered by Webb's precision, discloses an uncanny alignment in galactic rotations across vast expanses. In a truly isotropic realm, spins should scatter evenly, clockwise and counterclockwise, in equal measure. Yet observations reveal a bias, clusters whirling in concert as if attuned to cosmic filaments or primordial fields. This coherence echoes in Webb's early specimens, their orientations hinting at inherited order from the inflationary burst. Could these precocious galaxies laden with metals and ablaze with stars, 
partake in a vaster symmetry. If affirmed, the hunch isn't merely of heightened activity, it's of an intrinsic architecture where deep space's chaos conceals a profound directional harmony imprinted at Genesis. The anomalies cascade into even bolder terrain. Some interpreters of Webb's bounty are resurrecting a audacious conjecture that our universe resides within a black hole's event horizon. In this vista, the Big Bang marks not absolute origin, but a singularity's rebound, matter compressing in a parent cosmos only to erupt anew. This paradigm elucidates the fine-tuning of physical constants, enabling galaxies to flourish and life to emerge. It also accommodates the precocious organization Web Unveils, residual structures from antecedent realms cascading through the wormhole of collapse. For generations, this bordered on heresy. But Webb's testament to an overly mature dawn revives it, positing black holes as cosmic wombs, birthing infinities with variant laws where only the resilient endure. Venturing deeper, Webb's data stirs an even more disquieting proposition. Perhaps the universe doesn't merely evolve, it cognizes its trajectory. The synchronized spins, expedited enrichment, improbable symmetries, these might signal not stochasticity, but emergent self-regulation on megalithic scales. Envision a feedback symphony, galaxies as neurons in a vast neural web, stars as impulses, observers as integral nodes amplifying complexity. In this lens, every fusion event, every gravitational embrace contributes to a self-refining totality. The universe perceiving through its constituents iterates toward greater intricacy. If this resonates, Webb's disclosures transcend historical revision. They intimate a latent verity we've intuitively grasped. The cosmos isn't passive, but participatory, and our essence intertwines with its unfolding intent. Amplifying this, Webb's scrutiny of ultra-massive early galaxies, entities like those dubbed red monsters, equaling our galaxy's heft, mere hundreds of millions years, post-bang, exacerbates the cosmological crisis. These titans, detected in clusters, imply dark matter clumped with unnatural haste, or alternative gravities at play. Simulations falter, over-predicting scarcity while Webb tallies abundance. This discord echoes suspicions of incomplete physics, perhaps invoking modified Newtonian dynamics or exotic particles. Yet in the emotional resonance of discovery, it evokes awe. A universe impatient to manifest grandeur, its early chapters scripted with audacious flair rather than tentative sketches. Further layers unfold in dormant galaxies the sleeping beauties lurking in primordial epochs, quiescent where frenzy should reign. These slumbering forms unveiled by Webb challenge star formation timelines, suggesting episodic bursts punctuated by repose, perhaps modulated by feedback loops or cosmic web dynamics. Their existence bolsters the narrative of a nuanced dawn, where activity waxes and wanes in orchestrated rhythms, not unrelenting tumult. This subtlety deepens the suspicion. Deep Space's secrets encode not brute force, but elegant choreography, a ballet of creation we've only begun to applaud. Interwoven with these, Webb's glimpse into Reionization's mechanics reveals small galaxies as pivotal actors, their ultraviolet barrages ionizing hydrogen on galactic scales. This cosmic makeover, as data portrays, transpired swifter and more collaboratively than solitary giants could achieve, implying a communal effort in illuminating the void. Such synergy hints at interconnectedness from inception, where isolated entities coalesce into harmonious ensembles, foreshadowing the web of life that would later bloom. These threads, 
converge on philosophical precipices. If Webb confirms an early universe teeming with mature galaxies, aligned in spin, and self-regulating through hidden mechanisms, then origins of structure and perchance consciousness may root in transcendental dynamics. The black hole universe hypothesis, once marginal, gains credence as a multiversal nursery, each singularity spawning realms tuned for persistence, and the self-aware cosmos, drawing from complexity theory, posits reality as a living computation where observation collapses potentials into destiny. For eons, astronomers murmured that deep space's enigmas outstripped our model's simplicity. Now the James Webb Space Telescope elevates those murmurs to resonant proclamations, galaxies materializing with improbable mass, rotations sinking across voids, elemental forges firing prematurely, symmetries suggesting cosmic intent, the allure of black hole interiors as natal chambers, and most evocative, the whisper that the universe engages in its own narrative, a self-sculpting expanse where we partake as vital echoes. These aren't disparate wonders. They're interwoven strands in a grander epic, upending cosmology's bedrock. If the nascent cosmos pulsed with such vitality and order, then the genesis of stars, worlds and minds may entwine with essences beyond our grasp. Webb hasn't merely extended our horizon, it's fractured barriers to inquiries we've shied from voicing. The proof stands irrefutable. The intuitions proved prescient, the sole enigma remaining. Dare we pursue this illumination to its ultimate frontier? Let us know what you think in the comments. Could these revelations signal a cosmos crafted for awakening? Or do we yet undervalue nature's untamed ingenuity? If this stirred your core as profoundly as it did ours, hit like, subscribe for more cosmic unveilings and share this with someone clinging to notions of an indifferent void. Because in the ancient radiance web harvests, verity sharpens into view and it's infinitely more sublime than we ever presumed.